people point to Reading Jail and say that is where the artistic life leads a man. Well, it might be two words. Please. Mechanical people to whom life is a shrewd speculation depending on calculation always know where they are going. And go there. Start with the ideal desire of being the parish beadle. And they succeed in being the parish beadle and no more. A man whose desire is to be something separate from himself succeeds in being what he wants to be. That is his punishment. Those who want a mask have to wear it. But with the dynamic forces of life, it is different. People who desire self-realization never know where they are going. They can't know. To recognize that the soul of man is unknowable is the ultimate achievement of wisdom. The final mystery is one. When one has weighed the sun in the bounce and measured the steps of the moon and mapped out the seven heavens, there still remains one step. Who can calculate the orbit? of his own soul. to appeal to the sense of humor. On November 13th, 1895, I was brought down here from London. From two o'clock till half past two, center platform of Clapham Junction in convict dress and handcuffed for the world to look at. When people saw me, they laughed. Each train swelled the audience. Nothing could exceed their amusement. That was they knew who I was. As soon as they had been informed, they laughed still more. Ha! -ha! For half 
half an hour I stood there in the gray November rain, surrounded by a jeering mob. For a year I wept every day at the same hour and for the same space of time. In prison, tears are part of every day's experience. A day in prison on which one does not weep is a day on which one's heart is hard. Not a day on which one's heart is happy.
one of the many lessons that one learns in prison is that things are what they are and will be what they will be. Suffering is one very long road. We cannot divide it by season. We can only record its souls and chronicle their return. With us, time itself does not rest. It revolves. It seems to circle round one center of pain. There is only one season, the season of sorrow. The very sun and moon seem taken from us. Outside, the day may be blue and gold, but the light that creeps down through the thick glass of the small iron barred window is red. It is always twilight in oneself, as it is always And in the sphere of thought, no less than in the sphere of time, motion is. It is the only means by which we become conscious of existing. And the remembrance of suffering in the past is necessary to us as the evidence of our continued identity. 
between myself and the memory of joy lies a gulf no less deep than that between myself and joy in its actuality. So much in this place do men live by pain that my friendship with you in the way in which I am forced to remember it appears to me always as a prelude consonant with those very moments of anguish which each day I have to realize as though my life had been a symphony of sorrow passing through its rhythmically linked moments to a certain Boom, 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 boom,
One can see the city of God. It is so wonderful that it seems as if a child could reach it in a summer's day. And so a child could, but with me and such as me. It is different. One can realize a thing in a single moment, but one loses it in the long hours that follow with leaden feet. We think in eternity. But we move slowly through time. And how slowly time goes with us who lie. I need not tell again.
character that I shall be able at the end of my days to say yes this is just where the artistic life leads a man. The last seven voyage nights, in spite of a succession of great troubles, reaching from the outside world almost without intermission, I have been placed in direct contact with a new spirit working in this prison through men and things that has helped me in all the words. So that while for the first year of my imprisonment I did nothing else and can remember doing nothing but wring my hands in despair and say what an ending what an appalling ending now I try to say to myself 